All right, YouTube, as the uh, title suggests here, we're going to be using a uh, Flipper Zero to unlock this safe and to inject a code into it. And then I'll show you, too, how to recover your factory code so you can actually uh, delete the code that the Flipper puts in and put your own in that hopefully you can remember. So um, the Flipper does put a code in of 12345, so I'm going to just show you now that that code is not in the safe. And then what we'll do here is there's a tiny little screw under the keypad. It's a little Phillips screw. You take that out. I've already done that. And the keypad comes off. And then uh, on the keypad here, you see we've got the connectors. And the one we're concerned with is the one on the right there with the black, green, yellow, and red wires. Our black is ground. Our green is communication. And what we're going to do here is take these DuPont cables. And I'm going to link these on Amazon so you can click the link and check these out. And I'm going to go ahead and insert one into the black and the other into the green. And then on our flipper, get the unleashed firmware here. It comes with the Sentry Safe tool loaded on it. And it tells you just put the black in the ground and green to C1. And what that's talking about is up top here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the brown wire that's connected to the black on the safe into ground. And the other one into C1 here like so. And now I'm going to put my mic next to the actuator here so you'll actually hear it open. Zoom out a little bit. Hold the mic here. I'm going to hit OK. You're going to hear the safe open. And it's going to inject the code of 12345 into it. You heard it click there. Safe is now open. Go ahead and just disconnect this. Microphone back on here. And uh, we'll take our DuPont wires out. And like I said, I'll put those on Amazon. Put a link there so you can check them out. Just lock the keypad back. And then uh, now the safe is actually open now, as you can see. And if I lock the handle, let's see, one, two, three, four, five will now actually open the safe. And then let me go ahead and show you too now how to actually recover your factory code. So you need to download a barcode scanning app on your phone. And uh, don't ask me which one. I have no recommendations. I've just, you know, I've tried a bunch. A lot of them seem to work. Uh, basically, you'll need a flathead screwdriver. Tabs here. We're going to just take the door off. The back of the door pops off like so. And now that that's off. Now our actuator is right here. And we'll go ahead and lock it back here and drop the camera down. I think if I zoom in, you'll be able to see here, right? Right here is the actuator, and there's a little sticker that you can see. Now let me just show it to you. It's uh, right here on the actuator, there's a little sticker right here. And I'm going to go ahead and scan that with the phone. And then it's going to tell us the factory code here. So I guess I'm just using just some random bar scanner app from the, from the store. Turn the light on here. And I'm going to just go barcode there. And see it says scan the barcode. And it's telling me that my factory code to my safe is 82191. So now, go ahead and uh, move the camera back here. All right, so we put in 82191. See, that is actually the factory code. So now with that code, I can delete the 1234 out of there. So now 1234 is going to be deleted. No longer works. And then uh, now that you know the factory code, you can actually look up the instructions and you can use that factory code to add your own code into the safe. So there's the uh, Sentry safe here being uh, opened uh, with the Flipper Zero. If you have any questions or comments, uh, put them in the comments. And until next time, we'll talk to everybody later.